Hey y'all, so I'm back with another budget-friendly recipe. Today we will be making some banana nut bread. So let's jump right into the video. All right, grab you three ripe bananas. Peel those back and place them right inside a bowl. You want to make sure that the banana has dark spots on them. That's how you know it's ready. Okay, the darker the banana, the sweeter it'll be. Mash that on down with a fork and mix that all in really well. We're about to start mixing our wet ingredients inside of this banana mixture so i'm adding in two large eggs one stick of butter and also one third cup of sugar i'll also place a full recipe in the description box below mix that all in really well and we're about to start working on our dry ingredients y'all all right so to a bowl add in one and one half cups of flour one teaspoon of baking soda one half teaspoon of salt and also season this to your liking. I'm going to be using some ground cinnamon for extra flavor, honey. So go ahead and mix that all in really well to make sure all your dry ingredients is well incorporated. Add that dry mixture right onto the wet mixture. Mix that all in really good. And when you finish mixing, it should look just like this. I know it look clumpy, but guess what? That's how it's supposed to be. All right, add you in a little vanilla extract. I use probably like a half teaspoon, a cup of walnuts. And all you do is fold them walnuts inside of your batter. And then grab you a oven dish. I'm going to be baking this inside a bread loaf pan. I'm using a little butter to spread around my pan and also adding some flour inside as well and making sure it gets on the side so that way this bread can come right out, okay? Pop right out, all right? Dump all the excess flour out and pour that batter right inside of the loaf pan, okay? Bake this on 350 for about an hour, probably like, yeah, about 50 minutes to an hour. Just check it. Put a toothpick inside and make sure it's done. And guess what, y'all? When it came out, it was looking just like that. And watch how this bread just come right out. That's what I was talking about. Okay, that's exactly what you want. And y'all, this recipe was so simple and easy and ultimately delicious. If you want the recipe for the um, icing that I drizzled on top, keep watching. I'm putting butter to my pan, adding in some powdered sugar and a little vanilla extract, mixing that all in together on medium heat. And guess what, y'all? This is exactly how it look. Drizzle, drizzle that thing right on top of that banana nut bread. And you are finished, honey. You got yourself an easy dessert with all the ingredients you can find right inside your pantry honey make this for your family your friends your kids or whatever if you want to um freeze it you can also do that you can also place saran wrap around it as well and just set it up on your pantry put in the refrigerator whatever you want to do you can do it honey but this recipe was so easy and simple y'all tell me how y'all like it and which i try this recipe at home okay and when you try it let me know just tag me let me know it's real y'all look at that came out so good y'all it was so moist and delicious honey all right y'all till next time peace